Hello, this is Bidster, and this is Neo Racing's uh, first championship on Project Cars 2. Uh, this is a British Touring Car Replica Championship ish. And this is the replay of the first race that we had at Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. This is a sprint race. Um, this is my first time doing the uh, replay, so if I'm a bit rusty, I do apologise. But here we go. Ready for the start. Oh, I see, I see two cars creeping on the, on the left. Off we go. And towards the first corner. This is in the lead, followed closely by Guna and TY. On the first corner. All seems to be okay so far. Have a look at the further back. A little bit of contact between Guna. And I think that's Neil. Oh, Neil's out of shape. Oh, Jamo gets a little tap, Steve's on the grass. Meanwhile, further back, there's a little scrap going on between Steve and here and Steve in the back. Oh, contact between Stevie and Neil. Stevie goes onto the grass, loses it, and almost takes out Sean and Keith as he rejoins. Wow, that got heated for a moment. Anyway, end of the first lap. All starting to string out a little bit. A bit more of a closer pack near the back, though. We have to look at Steve, uh, Jay, Sean, Blakeney and Stevie all in a little battle amongst themselves. Stevie goes onto the gravel, Blakeney looks at the inside and he tries to tip the inside of Sean as well, a little tap on the grass, oh, a little tap again, oh and Sean goes into Stevie and Stevie clouts the wall. Oh, a little bit messy there guys but never mind. We've been tracing. Anyway, back towards, back towards near the front. There's Neil. And Jambo's right behind Guna. This should be a fun little scrap. And now Bits is out in front, followed by TY. Then it's Guna. He's defending now from Jamo. Apologies for keeping the little playback controls uh, up. And Guna's defending. Uh, the best there from Guna. Neil's catching these two because they're scrapping. Down the bottom. Jamo gets a decent enough run, but he'd be very brave to keep it on the inside going towards McLaren. And as he backs off, Neil thinks I'm going to get a piece of that too, but Neil decides to back off as well. Now into close. Oh, Guna runs wide. Guna runs wide. He's left the door wide open for Jamo to go up on the inside. Jamo's on the inside and Guna moves across. And there's contact. Jo Neil goes onto the grass. Jamo goes back into the wall. Boards flying everywhere. And Jamo's facing the wrong way. It's a bit of a, a bit of an incident and a half that, but Jamo's still turned around. Can he get it turned around? Anyway, while he, Jamo's turning around, we'll look. Oh, there he goes. Car off in the background, I think that's Blakeney. Yes, it is. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, that, that all happened very quickly. Anyway, let's calm it down a bit. Let's check upon what's happening up here. We've got Neil, APG Guna in third and fourth places. Seems to be all stringing out a bit now. Uh, there's Keith and McGann. Stevie and another McGann. There's Blakeney after recovering from his off at uh, Paddock Hill Bend. There's Sean. And then Jamo somewhere around here. There he is. Recovering at the back. He must be fuming after that incident. And we're all starting to spread out a little bit. Front. Let's try experimenting with some of the cameras. I've tried this yet, but let's uh, go on board with uh, good old buddy TY. It's Paddock Hill Bend. You see, this uh, didn't really hold up very good one the first corner. Not get too good though. Quite close battle. Oh, T-Y goes onto the grass. Stop the track. T-Y 
anyway. Uh, let's go back to the track side and let's have a look at what else is happening further back. Looks like Keith has got Stevie closing up on him. Oh, Stephen goes onto the grass. He likes mowing the lawn. Spreading out a little bit. Oh, James. That's all pretty steady at the moment. The, um, we've got two people in each car in the championship, we've got two Gans, two Mercs, two Beamers, and two Ashkers in this, which is good, it's a good variety. Um, the rear wheel drives will have better tyre wear in the future races, it's an all round rear wheel drive, and then you've got the front wheel drive which will build up the front, but they'll have better uh, stability towards the end because of the rear tyres, so in the front to warm up more. Uh, Keith running a little bit hot, the clearways there, Stephen going even more hot by the look of it, Stephen closing up. And to lap 8, we have a run through of, uh, a quick run through of the order, so we've got Bidston in the lead, in the orange and white and black Mercedes, and there's TY, second place in the Began, followed by Neil in the second Mercedes, third position is oh, there's Gunnar in, an, in the Astra in fourth place around that corner and then James in the Beamer Stephen in the Began Keith in the Began Big Bonham we have three Begans in this not two of each and there's Sean in the Opal Astra behind him Jamo and right behind him Blakeney who's lost his front bumper and gone to the grass so I've missed something there uh, that's not going to help the front down force, and neither is cutting that corner, my friend. So, never mind. Uh, looks like we've got a little bit of a tussle going on. Fifth, James being caught slowly by Stevie. Again, one stage delivery. Got a nice little bit of to say. On lap nine. Apologies for the uh, commentary that is a bit naff, but I've not uh, done this in a while. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as spread out as it was at Trans Action in the actual, but you get what you get, which is fine. Um, all racing for the. You know, it always takes one person to make a mistake, and then the other person will gain. Uh, it's a third, it's a. Cold black race. I dare say Jay and Stevie are catching Luna. Oh, Stevie has a little look, but James goes a little bit wide. Let's, let's go on board with Stevie. Let's have a look. Grass. Uh, Jay have a look at the inside of Juni here. Oh, he's having a look. Oh, no, not that camera. There we go. Coming down the hill. Let's have a look at James and Juni. He's going to load the curve as well. Steve's having another look. Steve goes a bit wide for a better exit. Gets a wheel on the grass. Uh, here comes James, the power of the BMW. It's, it's a bit wider than the rest of the other cars. He's having a look, he's having a look. It's, oh, contact! Wow! Oh, Gunnar's off into the gravel, big style. Stevie follows him a little bit. James is there.
go back and go on board with Stevie for this. Let's have a look at what exactly happened here. <laughs> Inside, Gunner comes across, contact, Gunner goes off, Stevie gets a bit overexcited, he goes a little bit off, off track himself, James recovers and goes on. And wide, the grass, that's where Beamers don't belong, Stevie goes up the inside, Go back to the trackside camera, Stevie goes wide, James keeps position. Oh, back in the background. In the background, Goon is off. Probably a little bit rattled by everything that's gone on. He's going slow. He's going really slow. We get passed by Sean as well at this rate. He's gone! Goon is going slow, keeps on the racing line. Sean hits him. Wow. Don't see that every day. Guna takes a nice little shortcut. He's still going around. I don't know why he's going around slowly. It's quite dangerous to be going around slowly. And contact again! God, those two like contact with each other. Jeez. Not to say a bit clumsy on Guna's part with that, but yeah, that's the end of the race. Uh, bids to one. We got, all, got very caught up in the, uh, in the action there. I'll... Uh, very caught up in the action. Um, I'll just... That's it. So, uh, Bidster won that race from uh, TY. From uh, I've got the results here. So, Bidster won that race from TY. Neil, Stevie, we came in fourth after the cover fall between Guna and Jay. Then it was uh, Jay himself, Keith. Then it was Sean, Jamo... Uh, Guna and then Blinkney in, la in last place. Uh, right, stay tuned for next time. We'll um, have the Brands Hatch feature race, which will be a 20 lap, lap, 25 lap feature race with pit stops. See you there, guys.